Look at the logo and the website of the G20 Presidency unveiled by Mr. Narendra Modi. Also, the theme of the G20 Presidency was set as One Earth, One Family, One Future. See, why is Mr. Narendra Modi doing all this? If you want to know answer for this question, do watch this video continuously. The theme of India's G20 Presidency is Vasudeva Kudumbakam or One Earth, One Family, One Future. Okay, as you know, India will assume the presidency of the powerful grouping from the current chair, Indonesia, on December 1. Knowing about G20 presidency is very important. So, in this discussion, let us learn some of the facts that you must remember when it comes to G20 presidency. Before that, remember the group of 20 or G20 is a grouping of the world's 20 largest economies. Here in this image, you can see the members of the grouping. Here you can see that India is a member of the grouping. Am I right? Yes, India is also a founding member of the G20. Now, G20 is very important because its members represent almost 90% of global GDP and 80% of international global trade. And also note that two-third of the world's population live in G20 countries. And 84% of all the fossil fuel emissions are produced by this G20 countries only. With this basic information, let us see a few facts about the presidency of the G20. See, the presidency of G20 rotates every year among its members. And a unique thing about G20 presidency is that the country that holds a presidency works together with its predecessor and a successor. So, this grouping inside G20 grouping is known as Troika. See, G20 have such arrangement to ensure the continuity of the agenda. Currently, Italy, Indonesia and India are the Troika countries. And on December 1, India will assume the presidency from the current chair, Indonesia. Okay, remember the G20 has no permanent secretariat. That is, the agenda and the working coordination is completed by G20 leaders, personal representatives, known as Sherpas. And they together work with the finance ministers and the central bank governors to complete the works. Okay. So, being president of G20, India will have the opportunity to assume center stage in proposing and setting the global agenda and discourse. Secondly, since G20 represents more than 80% of the world's GDP, India can play a strategic role in securing global economic growth and prosperity. Thirdly, G20 will be the platform to test India's leadership potential and diplomatic foresight in organizing such a big event and in arriving at meaningful outcomes. Okay? And through this video, you understood what is this G20 and why this G20 in news and why Mr. Narendra Modi gave a theme and a logo for this G20 presidency. Because India is taking over the presidency of G20 this time on December 1. Okay? And if you want to know more such topics related to UPSC preparation, do watch our Hindu newspaper analysis regularly.